There could be an end in sight to the dock worker strike that's impacting 36 ports on the East Coast and the Gulf. The International Longshoremen's Association, the union that has been on strike since early Tuesday, has reached a tentative deal on wages. Union members are expected to be back on the job tomorrow. Well, the shutdown over the last several days led to growing concerns about supply chain disruptions and panic buying among consumers. And the hottest item is a pandemic flashback, toilet paper. New at 6, Fox 2's Patrick Clark reports. Dock workers at 36 ports along the eastern United States have walked off the job for the first time since 1977. And it's leading some to bulk buy toilet paper again. Yeah, I was at the store earlier. The lady bought like 10, 10 eight things of tissue. Yeah, it looked like it's going to be everybody panicking. I don't think it's going to be that bad. We'll see, though. Closed ports in New York, New Jersey, and more due to the dock worker strike had some viewers sending in pictures of empty toilet paper shelves. Panic buying being blamed. Even though paper goods like toilet paper and paper towels are made domestically, even here in the show me state. But from a supply chain perspective, uh, toilet paper is not getting imported from anywhere. I mean, it's supply chains within the U.S. Uh, that can produce more or less the toilet paper that we need. So even a week or even a few months of, uh, of a strike is not going to affect toilet paper. It will affect other goods, but it will not affect toilet paper. Washington University professor Panos Kovalis says St. Louisans and Americans should not worry about a lack of toilet paper. But if the strike goes on for more than two weeks, produce will be the first thing consumers will notice, along with the supply and price of coffee and cocoa. It's probably any fresh produce that is coming uh, from Latin America or other parts. I mean, bananas people are mentioning. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we will start seeing that we don't have as much inventory of uh, these kinds of fresh produce, Mike. And the professor of supply chains and technology says panic buying isn't necessary. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think people uh, get a little bit out of shape when they are faced with what per perceived scarcity. But I think things are going to be okay. We got through COVID and uh, we kept ourselves clean. We had enough toilet paper. I think this would be okay. In the Central West End, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.